Hi everybody and thanks for stopping by. This is not so much of an instructional video as a bug report for RootsMagic. I went into RootsMagic 8, the current version, which is 818, and I wanted to check and see if there had been any progress with Research Manager or any differences made improvements, for want of a better word. And I immediately noticed three bugs, and I know that these three bugs weren't there historically because I've done extensive testing of Research Manager in the past, and these three bugs were not around at that time. Unfortunately, one of them I can't demonstrate, I can only describe it to Roots Magic, because after restarting Roots Magic 8, it disappeared. I'm not active on the forums so much, but I do still monitor the forums of various software providers. I want to read and see what's important to the users, that's you and me, for want of a better word, because at the end of the day, it's, it's you and me that use the software, and um, if we're all saying the same thing, that's how things need to progress. Sadly, I only saw this within the last week where this user says, am I the only person whose wrist gets sore using Roots Magic 8? Now, if you've looked at any of my other videos, you'll see I've already talked about the, the considerable increase in click count in Roots Magic 8, and that really needs to be streamlined over time. That workflow is not acceptable. I know a lot of users are getting used to it, but it's not a question of getting used to using something which is just more difficult. The first quirk I can't really replicate for you because let me explain it probably better. If I highlighted something here and I went to the task and the results here are multi-line. Now firstly, I should be getting a hover over there. Let me try that again. Yes, there we go. It didn't come up the first time. So I was only seeing a very truncated version of this and there was no scroll bar. Also, if I clicked on it, I was also seeing just the first lot of lines and there was no amount of moving about or anything, but restarting Roots Magic seems to have cleared that problem. Nonetheless, it was still a problem. Now, here's the second problem that I noticed in this screen. You may have already noticed it. When I click over here, the focus changes here. Let's try this. Let's try a Hockle Parish. So the focus is changing in this middle window, but the highlighting is not changing in the left-hand window. So basically, I don't know what folder that I'm working with at the moment. So that's a problem in itself. And I don't remember that problem being there when I was testing Roots Magic in the early days. Now, one of the reasons I dislike this screen, and it's all based around this sliding panel model that um, Roots Magic seemed to have adopted. So here's my details or results here. And they slide in. Now, I would expect if I highlight the second one here, I just see the notes for that. I expect to close this myself. I don't expect the program to close it, but the program does, which means I have to involve an extra click just to get it open again. That's just a personal dislike. So I've highlighted the, or I've tried to explain the, the truncated text business here. I've highlighted the fact that the, the left-hand panel does not, the color highlighting doesn't change to show me which folder or task that I'm on. But here's the one that um, is, is the, the most interesting. So this is a, up here, top left is a search box. I'm just going to type baptisms in there and hit enter. Now watch, hands are off the, hands are off the keyboard. I'm not touching anything. This may take between two and five seconds, but the program's going to crash. We're just waiting for it to happen. And there she goes. I did nothing. So basically that, that filter doesn't work and the program crashes out. So hopefully Roots Magic are aware of those, but I'll send them an email after this here. Let's go back to Roots Magic 7. And the thing that I liked about the Research management in Roots Magic 7. If I go down here to uh, military history, I can see I have a, a box open here and I can, I can see everything. I can scroll down through it and see all of the correspondence, which was to do with this individual item. I can look at this duplication, by the way, is, is a grown thing in Roots Magic. I get duplication in research logs. I get duplication in media links web tags, um, citations, sources. There's probably a longer list. 
I don't interact with ancestry. I don't use tree share. Um, I know that from reading the forums that people who are doing that are, are experiencing even more duplication and Roots Magic in the background is not managing that duplication. That is not good. The reason being that you, you'll go along quite happily adding information, unaware of the duplication in the background, but someday you'll go to um, create a report or a book then you'll notice this duplication getting printed out and you'll have to go and deal with it. Uh, that's unacceptable from my point of view. Um, the, some of the duplication management tools that are inside Roots Magic, they're ineffective and they don't completely eradicate this duplication. So that's another note for Roots Magic. Anyway, going back quickly to Roots Magic 7, I can scroll up and down through all this and I can see all the the items that were to do with this person. I can go to the parish here. Armagh, Shankill and Seagull and I can see what oh, the very scant it's going back to 2019 but very scant sort of uh, details what I've done there um, I just have a little sort of I keep a little note up here for census dates that I know what all the census dates are it's just a ready reckoner and this is the way I started to use research manager a long time ago and this Antrim I've quite a lot of research done in this parish and it's all noted here so this is all just on one screen. You can do this in Roots Magic to an effect. Let me get back to Roots Magic 8. Oh, it's crashed out, right? We'll come back to that in a second. So Family Historian now does Research Manager and, and they all import from Roots Magic perfectly well. And it's really the sort of the back to the view that I like. Let me look at this military history one. And I can size this screen the way I want. Um, I can delete, I can alter the columns in here to whatever I like. So this is just an email sent out to a lot of people many years ago, 2014, trying to track down an ancestor of mine. And following on from that is the various replies and details that I got about what services were available. So you can see the log type. This is a log, a research log. This is a task, which is a to-do. This is correspondence, which has happened. I'm not going to go into these because they are personal. So this was research I'd done back in 2014, um, reaching out to some English researchers about what services they could offer me and at what cost. And you can see the detail of the original message and followed on by the email received, email received. These were all the replies that I got back at that time when I was researching this ancestor. And obviously that research has moved on quite a bit now. And that's that's this is the view that I like. All in one view. Just scroll completely up down through it. But what I like about this here and what I told you I disliked about Roots Magic 8 is I, I can go back here. Let's do the Armagh, Shankill and Seagull. And here's the research I've done in, in that parish. And I can adjust these. So I'm going to delete that column. I'm going to move this in a little bit. I'm going to maybe definitely going to move that in a little bit to make better use of things. And I'm going to stretch him out. That makes it all sort of more of a table that I'm, I'm sort of happy with. So I'm going to apply down here. And the next time I open that, that will be the same. Let's go back to the military history one just to show you. Back to the Armagh one, and it's the same. I can deal with these with spell check. Spell check, by the way, is not part of Roots Magic 8. You know, we're almost seven months all but one week into the release of Roots Magic 8, and there's still not a spell checker in there for notes. That's not really great. But I want to go into more of the details of what we can do there. Let me go back to my military history one. I'm going to show some of the other things that can be done here. So the reason I went into Roots Magic 8 in the first place to see what the latest offerings were was I wanted to see what could be modified in the research tasks and correspondence. So I've made a few modifications here just to show what's possible in Family Historian. Here I have added a link to um, a place that I checked, which was the Norfolk Family History Society. And there's their web page. Here I've added a hashtag, which I did wish for in Roots Magic. And it's a hashtag continue to follow up on all available military research. I can search on these hashtags. Down here you'll see I've added a link to the person. And here's all the details, etc. that I have for this individual. 
Here you can see beside Find My Past, I've added a source to this research log and I've just put in here Test for Video Presentation. So I can do all of these things. I can add tables, modify tables, add hashtags, add source, add links. And the links can be to an individual. They can be to family record, note record, source, etc., etc. You can see all the options down the right hand side here. So this is very interactive now. One of the problems back in Roots Magic 7 was you could have correspondence, but it wasn't in any way linked to the individual or individuals that were mentioned in the correspondence. So there's a lot to be done here. Um, research logs and tasks is new to Family Historian 7, and I'm sure the company will continue to build on usefulness there. I've opened up the Roots Magic 8 file again in the facts. Hopefully some of that will make sense to the developers and hopefully they will eradicate those three bugs that I that I mentioned in this presentation. I intend to do a video on Roots Magic 7 on fixing family links. It's, it's probably one of the most common problems that appears on the forum pages. Um, it appears repeatedly. And I often wonder why, because I don't see it on other vendor product pages. And I think it may be to do with the layout of the screen, but we'll we'll explore that at some future date. If you want to see that video or get notifications, don't forget to subscribe down below and click the little bell to get notifications. Thanks for watching. I'll get an email with a link to this shot off to Roots Magic, and hopefully, if they don't already be aware of these things, they can add that to their list. So head off and knock down some brick walls. Happy researching.